So we were going to get away from the beer in the can. We're going to go back to the bottle where it all started. Yes. Well, yeah, I don't actually think, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I don't think started it started in the bottle. bottle, but it sounded started good, probably though, in a, it? it fermented in a jug. Have you watched that uh, thing yet, How Beer Saved the World? No, I want to watch you that. You should really You've watch that. About that. We should even have a link to that. We should definitely link to it. Sure, we could uh, put that in the uh, definitely the, in the link lounge on the on the website because uh, it's pretty cool. So that's why I said jar because they have these like these little drawings of they think the earliest beer like was in these earthenware jars. Really? So yeah. Is it true that it started in Egypt? Looks that way. Yeah. I think okay. That's what it's. I only watched that's it once, but oh. I should, yeah, yeah. There, there were grains and this and that and different. It's really cool the the, the links that they make uh, and the things that they found in the ancient peoples who consumed the beverage that did, became beer did they have any like footage of like two guys like tasting it not from <laughs> like, way back then, like any no. ancient footage of yeah. like we have these sketches of that there was even tasters back then yeah <laughs> there and it looked and that actually that's what we've modeled our setup after <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> get very grassroots with it the ancient uh writings on the wall so speaking of ancient speaking of ancient there you go that's that's a good start uh we've got an american double imperial ipa for this give it a shot i'm andrew and i'm keith and we're about beverages.com and the uh, beverage we're about today well is a beer uh from the russian river brewing company and uh it is their pliny the elder and uh there's a little uh he was born in 23 AD, and he was a Roman naturalist, scholar, and historian. And he traveler. was also a, uh, a general as well in so, the Roman yeah. uh, army. I was just uh, checking that out. That was kind of interesting. I, th- I thought it was just the name of the beer. I didn't know there was actually a guy. Actually a guy. And they actually <laughs> have a Pliny the Younger, and I'm not sure if there was a Pliny the Younger, but maybe there was a Pliny the Younger as well. Oh, well, he was his but teen that's years. That's their other beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was when he was younger, when he started out. But um, this... Uh, beer this is in a, a sort of a prelude in a way okay. uh, because Russian River does uh, sour beers and we are going to be doing a sour beer podcast. Um, I bought these. Uh, we, we're, we are in Arizona and as of now, these are not available in Arizona. So I got these. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, this is a treat. Now I'm really this excited. Is, uh, they were from, oh, you didn't know this is from California? Well, no, I knew you got it in California, but I just kind of assumed like, oh, maybe I haven't seen this to get it. No. Oh, now no, I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure there. Yeah, at least at least a lot of their others aren't available. And I don't recall seeing this. Maybe it is, but um, yeah. So er- okay. Eric actually had, Eric Gasson had said, oh, when you're in California, you've got to bring some stuff from Russian River Brewing back for me. And uh, <laughs> so I did. I actually, if you want to also, I have pictures of part of my walk journey because it was, we were in San Francisco. Okay. We were staying downtown. Um, I didn't, anytime, you know, you have your car uh, parked in the hotel, you know, you've, and if it's valet parking or even not valet parking, <laughs> you're paying to get your car in and out. So I thought, well, just, it's just a mile walk. I'll, I will walk. To the nearest location, which was a Whole Foods, which we're uh, seeing right here, we're seeing some pictures right here. On, yeah, on California California Street, and uh, it was a mile, but it was a mile of San Francisco Street, which is a lot of serious. I mean, a lot of steep, serious <laughs> steep, a lot of steep and roads. then down, and then uh, you know. So, but anyways, and then the way back, I had to make the journey holding a double bag of uh, seven beers that I bought. I was just going to say, so seven beers. Well, and I, okay. I would have bought even more, and there would have been <laughs> others that weren't Russian River, but I all of a sudden I realized I have to carry everything I buy. <laughs> so, uh, Chris, so yeah. So, uh, so Kristen just gets like a sad phone call. Help. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only I'm, halfway. I'm stranded. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what she thought, actually. She she had called me. She's like, where are you? And I said, well, I'm, I'm, said, I'm, I'm on my way back. And she thought I said I'm on my way up, like in the elevator. Oh, so okay. So then, then when I actually finally did get to the elevator, I get another call from her. She's like, where are you? <laughs> so I, said, I said, geez, hold I, on. I'm passed out in the lobby, all right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a long walk. So anyways, one of the beer, this is not a sour, as you said before. Um, so I thought we would... Uh, I did have one of these while we were on vacation. It was the actually first beer I drank on my vacation. Full was, disclosure. Full disclosure. Yeah, we were nine days in on our vacation. I had had not consumed anything yet because hadn't really come across the opportunity of having something that was worthy. So this was my first beer that I had. So well, hopefully that's a uh, you have an equally well. You didn't really say. It, I can kind of already tell that you liked it. So yes. I, so I will say that, yes. but we, I don't know quite how much. So. I like here on the bottle it says respect your elder, keep cold. Drink fresh, do not age. Yeah, it says like most of their beers that they make are meant for aging. This one is not. Okay. And in fact, this I bought on, I think I said the 7th of June. It was bottled on the 22nd of May of this year. So, wow. It's so uh, that's a, that's yeah. a nice quick turnaround. And even with us cool. recording, it's just a little over a month ago that this was bottled. So, so we're, cool. we're drinking it fairly. What young. is the alcohol uh, content on this one? 8%. Oh, okay. So that's not too high for a. 
an Imperial IPA. Yeah. It's kind of and this was uh, either four forty nine or four ninety nine. I can't remember what. Ooh, but that's uh, a nice price too. Well, but it's only sixteen point nine ounces. But yeah, it is was a decent oh, okay. price, especially with the prices of the others that that I have. That you'll you'll see that <laughs> at a later date too. All right, so I guess that's about in line then. Yeah, realizing that it's right. a smaller amount. Okay. Yeah, it's not a full like twenty two ounce bomber. So. Wow. Drink young and drink often. That is uh, absolutely clear. Yeah. That's glass right there. Clear, <laughs> you can completely see through that. Clear yellow yellow gold, clear gold. Yeah, clear yeah. gold. Just very nice little light bubbles. Yeah. Wow. Good head retention, though. Yeah. Do we have the lacing? <laughs> That's I, I can't. Probably I can't, not. can't even try. doesn't really appear not that much. way. Hmm. Oh, that smells yummy. <laughs> that smells so yummy. Doesn't it smell? Oh, my yeah, gosh. That's a nice aroma. <laughs> oh, man. Is this got, got I may have to find where else I can get this just for the aroma You know alone. what's funny? After I said, because like I said, the, at least mm. the sours weren't, and after I said that, all of a sudden I thought, maybe I have seen that at Total Wine here, but I don't think so. I'll have to, to check. check. Their check. website has actually gotten a lot better. It used to be a complete piece of hot garbage. Well, uh, it's their website, but Total, Total, Wines, Total Wine's yeah, website is actually they, decent now. You can order online and stuff. Much so, better. Yeah. And Russian Rivers is pretty good because I, I was looking for distributors and I was looking for some where near I was in Northern California. And I found this one pretty easily. Oh, cool! And then when we actually stopped um, in Huntington Beach at the end of our trip, there were a few places that sold this near there. I didn't get to any of them, but it was, at least it, was, it made it pretty easy to find out where you could get them. So. And you said this was. Uh, Whole Foods or something. I bought this at Whole Foods. Wow, that's a Whole Foods in in California. And is that where you got the sours as well? Yeah, that's a pretty crazy sweet beer selection. Oh, it, I was honestly, and they had the, um, which I wanted to buy the um, the Firestone and Walker, the the Wookie Wookie Jack, I think it's called. That oh, I wanted I, to try at Noble Hops. That oh, I'm sorry, we're out of that one. <laughs> um, the, so yeah, their beer selection actually was was really good. I would honestly, I was looking at it, and I was like. Oh, I should have. I should have brought the. I should have brought the car. It would have been worth it. And then <laughs> I was thinking. Worth and then I was thinking I had to get out. these home refrigerated, and I did. We had our cooler with us, and we, I was able to, you know, keep the refrigerated. And Kristen actually, she's like, "Well, you want to keep the labels on them?" So she, we were wrapping them in plastic bags. Oh, how a, nice! Yeah, it was quite a. It was quite an operation. That so. was quite a nice family team effort. It was. Well, That's yeah, cool. we didn't get that involved, but uh, it oh. was <laughs> husband and wife. Oh, okay. Keep the beer cold and labels intact. So. We probably, I guess, should describe more than that. Smells delicious. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm getting that usual amazing savory, piney. Yep. I'm getting a little yep. citrus in there too. I, that's what I thought. It was just a great blend of all yeah, and they're, types of hops. And really forward with all of those flavors, yeah. but super balanced. Yeah. Wow. I agree. Again, should we even drink it? Because I'm worried that it's not going to match how amazing that flavor is. Why don't they make aromatherapy candles foreshadowing? like this? Foreshadowing. I can foreshadow for you if you want. You won't be disappointed. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We've let it get a little warm in talking so That's much. That's not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing at all. There's a little, uh, a little uh, even like a little sour... Sour, nice that that a pleasant citrusy sour in there. There's a really nice uh, lemon, lemon kind of fruit going on in there. The hops are great because they're they're almost lively. They're almost yeah. uh, it's it's almost like a coffee acidity. It's like that kind of liveliness almost on my tongue, partially from the carbonation, but also probably from just the bl the balance of everything they've got going on in there. And it's not bitter at all. No. Like, I mean, there's there's some, I mean, there's, a, that's over-exaggerating. It is, it is, but it's not heavy. Right. There's some nice, I mean, the... The, the sour is the little heaviness, but then everything else is just... Yeah, and it's not going to... Going. I mean, you're not going to forget that there's hops in it. No. <laughs> anyway. No, no. So, there's, so there's lots of good savory and all those things, but man, that is just really well... God, that is really good. <laughs> yeah, I know. How many more of these did you buy? <gasps> that's it. Really? That's all. Oh, I bought one for my... I, I bought two... I drank one up there, and this one made it back. Wow. Well, I was actually, I was going to, this was going to be one I was going to, because Eric told me he'd pay me for whatever I brought him. This was going to be one I was going to, you know, pay, sell to Eric, but I thought, no, we needed, you need to try this. Yeah. 
We do have more to get to, so I do have to pace myself. But go ahead and yeah, you know, give yourself the rest. You can stick it in the fridge. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad you said the fridge. <laughs> Jeez. Go ahead and stick that wow. in the fridge, buddy. I feel, wow, I feel really honored. That is really good. <laughs> that is really delicious. Man, that is, and it's, uh, it's almost at that point too because the, the the malts and the other things going on in it it's almost refreshing yeah it's, I, you know I, it's, no, it's pretty agree. it's pretty refreshing well especially I had like so I had this after my two mile round trip journey so you got so, so you this got, was so you got back to the hotel yeah hot and sweaty a little tired a little bit actually but it's cold and you know oh, it, there's really? a cool breeze in San Francisco oh, oh yeah nice. I actually had a jacket on get out no. Really? Oh yeah. Oh wow! If you're going to it San Francisco, have a jacket. It was in the fifties. Apparently, 50s. no you know, flowers in your hair. High fifties, low sixties. So yeah, and lots of wind. And when you were, when there was no sun out. Oh yeah, it was cold. But yeah, no. But I was I was warm when okay. I got home. <laughs> yeah. One of the things I'd also had to go get when I got the beer was we were we ran out of our pub cheese, so we had to get some pub cheese. Oh okay. So I had that. Yeah. So I got back and snacked on a little pub cheese, and actually I that had an like apple. A- it was like it was almost a plowman's lunch because I had the beer, I had the cheese, I had the apple. I didn't have the loaf of bread to go with it. Yeah, but, that was. But the yeah, only no, thing. it was it was good. That's really cool. Well, I've. I'm actually, uh, we need to uh, get to the end of this so I can finish drinking this. Yes. I'm not going to torture everyone by continuing to drink, but this is delicious. It is, yeah. This is definitely, if you can find one of these on the shelf, highly recommend this. This is, if you're an IPA fan at all, this is really good. Yeah. Um, so there's not going to be a lot of uh, interesting thing when it comes to where it hits on a recommendation mm-hmm. scale. But Correct. you can still find the tasting notes at the website at aboutbeverages.com along with the uh, links to their website and uh, actually the uh, what was the the thing you were talking about earlier we were going to put a link the, to um, uh, how, how beer, beer save the world how beer save the world there'll be a link to that as well because that's uh, also a really cool uh, video to watch and uh, while you're there definitely become a fan of us on Facebook uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter we've got all those things you can also find us on Untapped as well which I will uh, mention that we tried this that'll probably uh, get some people uh, interested again yes oh <sighs> Yeah. But whether we love this or not, <laughs> you should definitely give this a shot.